Hi, Jamie here again from The Hedge Teacher. Today we're looking at the safety issues of this new digital currency and ask how safe is cryptocurrency? This is one question that keeps on being asked and will probably still be asking in years to come. As this is such a relatively new technology, it will definitely take some time for all the wrinkles to be ironed out. Yes, but is it safe? All the major cryptocurrencies are built for maximum safety. They use a new technology called a blockchain to verify transactions. It is distributed to every user and works like a global ledger. This ledger synchronizes across the whole network and every version of the ledger must be the same to verify the transactions. This makes duplicate or fraudulent transactions near impossible. For someone to hack in the system one person would have to own 51% of the network. This would be logistically impossible as there are thousands of independent miners running nodes. Then of course, you have to secure your own stash securely. One of the main differences to traditional money is that it is faster. It has faster transaction times. Although getting the transfer from fiat currency, the paper dollars we're using at the moment, whether it's dollars or euros or yen, to cryptocurrency has been challenging for me on many occasions. As they, they say it's because of the volume and the backlog, you think they may have had this organized a bit better in advance. But once it is in the cryptocurrency, the speed of these transactions is very, very fast. Imagine you want to spend or send money to your mother in New Zealand. This new transaction is configured into a block and is shown online. This new transaction block is sent to everyone in the network. Everyone then helps to validate the transaction to ensure it is accurate. When it is approved by the majority, the block is added to a chain of record transactions in a public ledger and the block is then added to the chain which is permanent. It is non-disputable and is a transparent record of the transaction. Mother then receives the money. When it is in the wallet address, she can either shop online or with a credit card or withdraw it from ATM or exchange it back to traditional currency. Just like that. Many newcomers buy cryptocurrency from an exchange such as Coinbase and leave their currency in these sites custodial wallets. But like any online entity, these exchanges are vulnerable to hacking. And as it is the crossroads for many billions of dollars of transactions every day, they make attractive targets. So leaving your coins in an exchange's wallet is very risky. If your intention is to keep some of these as a long-term investment, then you should keep it in cold storage. This can be a computer that's disconnected from the internet or a specialized USB drive called a hardware wallet. Keeping one computer just for cold storage or buying a hardware wallet is not for everyone. Well-known devices such as a ledger wallet can be a small investment and add complexity 
and a few extra safety steps to your transactions. A software wallet, in comparison, are usually free, although ultimately less secure. The basics of security are be super careful with any online services. Any device connected to the internet is going to be vulnerable. Encrypt your wallet with a very strong password. Use two-step or more security to maintain control over your coins even if one of your devices is compromised. Make regular backups and store them in multiple locations. And make, write down and hide your wallets. Mnemonic Seed. This is a group of words that you can use to restore your wallet in the event of a hardware failure. As the technology improves, so will security. And of course, those willing to steal by fear or foul means will always be around. It's an exciting time for all involved in this new currency, but you must always be careful. And as I've said a number of times before, and we say in this area of investment, never invest in this if you're not willing to lose it. So now, please don't keep this a secret. Like, subscribe and share this with your friends and family. We have to hedge our own future. If we don't look after ourselves, no one else will. Until next time, this is Jamie at The Hedge Teacher.